Hello, I'm Captain Bill Gustin with the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Training Division. The following video will examine how to improvise a Cleveland coil load from a conventional horseshoe bundle fold. This may be necessary when the length of the hallway is insufficient to fully stretch out the horseshoe or accordion bundle fold. All right, the scenario is, is that we have a very small space to deploy the accordion bundle folds in a horseshoe configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to improvise a Cleveland coil load. So the good captain here has got his bundles all laid out with the couplings all facing in the same direction. Popping the straps. All right, notice that he takes folds and puts them over his hand, keeping the male separate. All right, now the good captain is going to stand up. He's going to make a coil, and he's going to step through the middle of the coil, and then drop the thing down in front of him while picking the back out. He has just configured a Cleveland coil load. So now he's going to deploy the second 75 foot section. Okay, the good captain is going to grab the male coupling and he is arranging the second bundle, the second 75 foot section, into the improvised Cleveland or coil load. Again, carefully laying each fold on top of the other one on his forearm. Okay. Now he makes the coil, steps through the coil, kicks out the back of the coil, tosses it in front of him. All right, now captain is going to configure the last 75 foot section. Notice how he carefully places each fold over the one he previously put on his forearm. And again, Stands up, spreads his arms apart so that he forms the loop, and steps through the loop, setting the coil down in front of him, and kicked out the back. All right, the captain has arranged the coils. Now he's going to connect each 75-foot section. The last section, female, is being connected up to the inline gauge at the hose cabinet in the hallway. We will connect the second 75-foot bundle arranged in a coil, an improvised Cleveland load. Notice that the captain is not wearing any gloves. On the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department, we train our personnel to put their gloves on when we need to wear them. He does not need them right now. In fact, it would interfere with his dexterity. He'll put his gloves on when he dons his mask. All right, now moment of truth. Are we going to have three neat, easily deployable Cleveland loads or a bowl of spaghetti? Rapidly opening and closing the nozzle will expand the diameter of the coils and bump out any kinks. The good captain has now assumed the role as the floor below the fire mule. He is pulling the hose from the Cleveland load, feeding it to a mule at mid landing, who is feeding it to a mule at the fire floor landing, who is feeding it to the nozzle team that is advancing down the hallway. The training division advises companies who may have to improvise a Cleveland coil load that it is most easily fashioned from small, compact horseshoes. A Scott bottle makes an excellent template to gauge the size of the bundle. Remember to configure the horseshoe bundle beginning with the male coupling so that it ends up being on the inside of the bundle. The methods in this training video have to be practiced repetitively in order to get it right every time and never get it wrong. 